Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Markiplier video, and this one is pretty special to me. And honestly, there is a special reason why I've decided to react to this video, and that is, recently, I got myself another tattoo. This is my second tattoo ever, the first one I've gotten in 10 years, and it's the same design that I got from Inkbox back earlier in January. And I decided to test it out back then to see, would this be a great tattoo? And it was. So I got this done last week at the time of you recording this on August 5th. I got this done on the 29th of July. And it's so cool, man. It, this is so cool. It came out so well. Six hours of work. She did a phenomenal job. And yes, it includes Pluto. It's all nine planets. Yes, there are nine. I know technically there's eight, but I consider nine. So, so that's, it came out pretty well. So I have decided to react to a video that birthed a song. <laughs> a great song. A pretty catchy song. Even my girlfriend can't stop singing it. <laughs> she couldn't stop singing it because she it's stuck in her head. And she was like, I blame you. And I said, love you. <laughs> But uh, that would be Mark's playthrough of Universe Sandbox that originated the whole Space is So Cool song by Shmo Yaho. It's going to be weird watching this and then listening to the you know audio of the video itself and not hear the auto-tuned version of those specific words that is said in the song. So it's going to be weird to see. It's going to be cool. Like, this is cool. So let me get right into it and see how cool it becomes. So without a uh, duh, let's react to this video, shall we? Hello everybody, my name is Mark Blyer and welcome to Universe Sandbox. Now this is a game about space, but not just about space. It's about simulating so many different it's so things that beautiful. go on in space. And I love, love space. space. Many of you may know that about me, but I am I love space too. That's why I got the this. Space Companion Cube. There is nothing more, like more than space. space. And if there was a program, program for to go into space like for that chance of dying, dying from death by space, space. I would be first in line to go, go to, to space. space. If there was a mission to go to Mars, Mars volunteers, volunteers or stupid, stupid volunteers, volunteers, I would be there so fast. I would abandon everything <laughs> on Earth to go to space. And I would love it. I would love every struggle of it. I would love the horror and entirely mind-numbingly terrible experience that it may or may not be with certain chance on the horizon. Just for a chance to go into space! To go into space! But that's There's the, the uh, you know, I'm thumbnail of the uh, Sandbox, album cover. A really cool game that I've been playing around with and trying to understand. I've been taking some tutorials. I've played this game myself, my but sun. yes, my Didn't computer you can't that, handle the rendering. Yolo and whatever. So now, <laughs> he, oh no, he destroyed the, the sun. I was supposed to be doing oh shit! Here. Uh, what a way yeah, to start the the game. game. You destroy okay, the sun. We're back. Whoa! All right. Holy Calm shit! Down there a little bit. Let's slow it. There we go. Not little, little. So let's blow something up there. So oh, pretty. oh, 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 it's so, oh, it's so pretty. pretty. Okay, Pull I can arrange pity. objects in a solar system, but this is blowing my mind right now. And I also blew and this the originated and the project that, known as In Space Markiplier. One of the songs and the theme again. of it. Okay. Many included simulations Venus, to explore, go to home. the second it's planet from the sun. Oh, 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 boy. Saturn it rings. <laughs> I love space. Okay, I want to see the galaxy collision. Oh, this is going to happen in like five, a couple billion oh, years from now. So the Andromeda galaxy, which oh, is the closest so to us. Oh my God, it's going to collide so with our Milky Way galaxy and so merge into one. Like, can you even imagine the scale and this, of this is taking millions and millions of years. Is because it may seem small, and this is just a not entirely accurate interpretation of what would happen. This would take billions collide, of years. We are zipping by at... What looks like a million years every second. This is a million years a second. So this Can would be a very a long period years? of time. Imagine them going by every second and our sun would have been become a red giant and a white dwarf within this thing. Every speck. It's so every big. Speck is probably a, a sun, star. A star that's bigger than our sun. It's so, so big. See it from this every distance. speck. It's so big. <laughs> 
universe is so big, and these <laughs> galaxies, which have hundreds of billions of, of stars. stars, hundreds of billions. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Millions but and billions, billions of stars, and, billions of and stars. planets, solar systems. There are Billions and billions of galaxies. As many stars are in a single galaxy there. There's more galaxies in the entire Yeah, there's a universe. lot of galaxies itself, out there too. The so We've seen photos of all of them. Your brain can't comprehend Thanks to oh, space telescopes like Hubble space and is so cool. James Webb. Space. There it is. Space is cool. Okay, it's so I cool. I don't know why I haven't played this game sooner. My I, computer can not handle the rendering. Just, oh look, New Horizons so. Pluto Encounter. Oh. Okay, create. Oh, this was 2015, so well, Pluto, the, the Pluto flyby galaxy. just happened the like galaxy, in July. Yeah, yeah, look, see that he's talking galaxy. about it right now. Um, but it's gonna collide with our galaxy in about. What, he's talking about the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies colliding exactly a couple billion years from now. But this is gonna happen. It's gonna become Milk Andromeda. Very soon, it's gonna be chaos, and then it's gonna form a new galaxy, and it's gonna spiral off into the distance. Like, it's so cool. There's so many cool things. Okay. <laughs> there goes Earth my Earth. little pop Let's filter. Let's double Earth here. Oh. Boom! Oh my God! Two Earths! Oh! What happened to it? What happened? It formed a new Earth! <laughs> Holy crap! That was just in a matter of hours! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> that ain't Earth! Oh, it looks like the sun! one of Earth! What? Two <laughs> Earths! It's the point oh one. Oh, that's so cool! I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's so cool. But oh my god, there's a cool it. counter. <laughs> I, don't know what it, I, don't, I don't know what this is. What well, the hell is that? There's a rave on the new earth. Woo! Go everybody that just died. All right! <laughs> all right! I don't know there it, there's the all right. How about pulse? Boink. What? Whoa, what the... Yeah, this game is confusing as shit. Like, what you don't know what do. is going on here. Yet, so I'm not entirely sure. Fireworks. Fireworks. There's also Ooh. lasers, too. That's like, the Death Star. Good. I've done that. No, Material. I couldn't help myself. Uh, hydrogen, silicon. Sand in your face. Oh, what? That's not where I wanted it. Oh, it's going. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh, and then there goes the fireworks. The fireworks. Oh, cool. Oh, cool! Oh, man, I'm having too much fun. Okay, so... I don't know what those are, but it's cool. The fireworks are all going to Earth. It's gaining mass! Oh, I wonder if I give it enough hydrogen if it'll eventually turn into a star. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool the way it just... Oh. Let me give these... I want to give these a lot more mass. Let's put this, uh... Yeah. Let me do this to the... Let me just... Let me go all out. Okay. This is a lot of mass. Go for it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Something seems very, uh... Fertilization-y about Oh, this. Jesus. Of course. Oh, come on! All that hydrogen did nothing. Spread? I want more hydrogen on this. I want much more. And the music in this game is yeah, really cool, Yeah, the music cool is too, pretty cool, way. too. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, Fifteen I times. We're making progress. Hang on, we're making progress here. We just gotta slowly... Moon? Oh. Like the mass. Okay, I just needed to be on a bigger scale. Okay. So the mass of the particle is gonna be... Like the particle much sizes. Much higher. Let's put the... Each particle is a hundred moons. No, not that. Oh, come on. Stop being stupid here. I know Turn it's off, hydrogen. Probably auto-adjust. Okay. Damn it! Come on! Okay. Damn it! Apparently, hydrogen doesn't want to get any heavier. I don't know why, but uh, that is what it is. Okay, let's let's put it faster then. There we go. Now it's growing. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. There yeah. Oh, auto adjust. Okay, off. Yeah. <laughs> when he did Damn. that, I couldn't help oh, it. Oh, I need to turn auto adjust off. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Make this. 10,000 moons. Oh. Have I been painting a bunch of hydrogen way in the distance? Oh, Jesus. Oopsie poopsie! Uh, that's gonna form a star eventually. Just way, way, way out of the way. Okay. Uh, let's make it slower then. There we go. Now we got it. Get in there. Oh. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, oh God. And now it's oh, got some, oh, now it's gravitational God. field is becoming metal. stronger. Holy because of how massive it is. Times the mass of Jupiter. Holy balls. Ah. It's pulling in every object in the Look at that. It's area. pulling everything. Oh, that's so cool. I'm turning Earth into a star. Oh, man. It might actually be massive enough to be a star. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's Look so at that. Cool. It's like absorbing so literally everything. Fun. Like Jupiter would, you know, be our guardian <laughs> angel essentially so with it, cool. with the asteroids in the asteroid belt. Oh, more, 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 more. More, more. Oh, how far away is that pulling that? Okay, it'll be there eventually. Man, a couple of years. Ooh. Jupiter's taken a beating. It's got new nipple formations all across its surface. I oh, mean, Earth. Jesus. It's not Jupiter. Oh, oh God. Well, no. Oh, what? It got big and then it collapsed in on itself, I think. Pretty sure that's what happened. All right. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. All right, we got to go another scale. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna put more Earths into this. Oh, so good that God! It, let's get serious about this. A thousand Earth per particle. Oh Jesus! There it goes. Boom, boom. Whoa! It's like creating its like own ring whoa. system of whoa. shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know what that's all about. Oh my God! The gravitational the so field. Intense that everything that missed it slang shat it into the distance. It's the like gravitational a assist. Come back in about a million years. Oh, that's so cool. cool! My computer can't handle the rendering. Goodness. That's <laughs> so cool. It's like its own ring system oh, of man, uh, so hydrogen cool. and pieces. Maybe it got too big. I have no idea. Uh, maybe that's all that hydrogen can, hydrogen can do for it. I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see. What can I add? I could add... Oh, that's so cool. You know, more um, objects. Stars? I could add another star and watch it collide. That would be cool. Boink. Whoa! There it goes! Hey, whoa. whoa! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> Just letting it went, went around. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no edit. Oh, wait. Isn't that right there? That little blue uh, thing right there? Isn't that the star right there? Oh, what is happening? Whoa. Oh, what is happening? Slow it down, baby. What the fuck? Did he freeze it? No. Oh. That little is blue that... thing right there? Yeah. That's this the star. Is a star. Yeah, that's the star right there. This is a star of 1.4 times the that's mass That's the thing that he is spawned sun, in. And it is dwarfed by the size of the sun that I created out of two Earths. That's how big I made the sun. I made it to a point where it wouldn't get any larger. Like, that's what happened. It stopped accepting more material, and yet, it, it looks like it's only 2.15 the mass of our sun, but it's 45,000 kilometers radius. But I don't know. I don't know. We gotta figure this out. Huh. Hmm. Something going weird here. Alright, let's speed it up. Speed it up, speed it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Try that. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I could play this game for hours and hours and hours and never get bored. So let's blow something, something up, up here. here. I bet I can add a black hole. Yeah. Oh, good God. Sagittarius A. Oh, good God. Oh, you want me to be on that scale, eh? Let's put you right there. Whoa. Whoa. Space time just got warped. Uh... Where'd it go? I can't find my black hole. Let's put another one right there, then. Oop. Well, I don't know where my black hole went. But it's there somewhere. Wolf and Earth. I don't know what that is. Oh, boom. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that happened. All right, hang on. Earth and moon real time. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh. It's colliding. Oh. This real time. Oh no, that's so cool, but so terrifying. <laughs> Twenty-five times oh, already. God. 
You know, sometimes people forget how big the moon actually is. Yeah, like, compared, compared to, to the, the Earth. Size of Earth, it's actually really uncommon that the moon is so that the Earth has a moon as large as the moon is. And the current theory, now, yeah, it's a theory, four and a half billion years ago, a Mars-sized object very, very nicknamed the Thea hit the I'm Earth, sure the caused a ring of material the, to form the around the Earth, and, the and it coalesced into the moon within a year. Uh, a pre-Earth planet, and then another Earth-like planet that was either bigger or smaller. It was like a Mars-sized object. They collided, and what happened in this? It was like the Earth was in its cooling the period. The smaller planet got destroyed, and, but it scooped off a lot of material from like a glance, Earth, like that. And all that material started orbiting around Earth, and then and then within a year, it orbited. And I think they confirmed this because when, when they went when they went to the moon, yes, they found similar soil, material to Earth uh, on the moon. They found that it was extremely similar to the material that was on Earth. Therefore, they assumed that it originally was part of yes. Earth. Yes. So this is actually a really unique scenario, and actually a lot of theorists about you know there was life other on theories planets, like. Say, like <laughs> like it was a captured object it formed alongside the earth there was a point the where the earth was spinning so like fast that a something piece of it came right off if the universe is so old and like uh earth uh, life is oh look at the oceans look at the oceans are evaporating <laughs> because the earth's heating up good. from the collision then of the moon we see other life? did this move did this game much. predict the movie uh, moonfall that hunk of shit where every building because except the one world trade that, center was unscathed the, uh, the solid iron core in the hey, that that the bugged earth, the shit the out of me uh, which has that part bugged the shit out of me. Like it was so stupid. The, the moon is an AI now. Matter. Like and what? That's why there's protection from the magnetic field in the storm of the sun, and that's why it doesn't roast us alive. Uh, in addition to the atmosphere and the moon combined to kind of churn the oceans on Earth in the right amount of yeah, water. Yeah, and the moon like, does control the oceans and life tides on, on our uh, planet. Who knows? No one really knows. All I know is that this is really cool. cool. And it's simming very slow on my copy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my God. That's literally in the minutes. Oh, man. Oh, well, there it went. Like a there firework. The moon. Now all of Earth is not doing so good. Oh, it even orbits the fragments of the moon. <laughs> look at all these fragments of the moon. Oh, look, it's a glowing ball of fragment. Oh, that's such a cool view. Oh, <laughs> that's such a look at cool him nerding view. out like crazy. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I will never stop nerding out. I will never stop nerding out. Please don't. One of my favorite games of all times. You know, I often forget. When people ask me what my favorite game is, one of my favorite games of all time is actually Homeworld. Uh, it's a space RTS game, but it's so beautiful. Beautiful, like the elegance, the, elegance the, the story world, of the story why. Why you're playing the game? It's all so. Beautiful. That's where that line Lots came from. Moons. Oh, oh, bunch of moons! <laughs> Shit! Cool. Boom! 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 Oh, boom! Boom! Cool. Yeah, the gravity oh, of the moons cool. would. Be oh, going so crazy, cool. and they would be the interacting way. with each other, trying oh, to pull man, on each other. Another thing about our me. moon is the oh, our so moon cool. is moving away oh, from so Earth cool. at about a rate about need, a hun a a one and a half inches per year. It's so cool. Because of the fact that we're we're cool. we're trying, the Earth is tugging on the moon faster, and the moon's like, now I'm just gonna go the same speed. Supernova. So it's just it's going outward. Hell yeah. A Whoa. supernova in a galaxy. Jeez. Hot ah, damn. Uh, supernova. Stellar evolution of our sun. Okay. So this is what's Oh yeah, this is what will happen to our sun, sun in about many, five billion years, years where it'll turn into a red giant. This is what's gonna happen destroy to like the first four planets older. in our solar system or whatever. It's burning hydrogen right now, it'll eventually, it'll eventually turn and start burning you know, helium, burn helium. And that will I think it just did something there. It'll turn into a white dwarf within seven anyway, billion years uh, stars when they they go through phases depending on how much initial mass they have and how much initial mass they have de determines how uh, far into the fusion process it goes like hydrogen fuses to helium helium fuses to was it oxygen i can't i can't remember my periodic table uh <laughs> you know chemistry one, did you take carbon, chemistry class iron 
Well, I didn't. Maybe not those. It's been a while, okay? Yeah. It's been a while, so, but they, they, it goes farther. Than There's a lot of, you know, uh, materials that, uh, that, requires more gravity, and so that it uses. It, it causes the star to grow. Helium. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to turn into a white dwarf, though. That's what's supposed to happen, Orson. Unless this is what happened. Is, is that what happened? Oh, it already happened. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Um, let's see if we can actually catch that. Let's see. Let's slow this down a little bit. Slow down. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Ah, uh, he missed, missed it again. It's right about four and a half million. Or billion, billion years. years. Later. Okay. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's happening. Kid's getting bigger. Okay. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Eventually, I think it's going to turn into a red giant, which it may have done just now. The radius is slowly climbing. And then it's going to pop. Oh, damn it. God damn it. Damn it. Missed it again. Okay. Big, big. Oh, God. God damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. This is really hard to catch because the event of it happening is like in the span of a few years. Uh, we're going by millions of years, so yes. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. Uh, super, supernova close up real time. Oh, okay. wow. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like an eclipse. Ooh. Ooh. Now it's turning oh, into a supernova. So cool. How many now, more times really do you got to say? Is uh, we actually can tell, or or someone with the right equipment would be able to tell. Isn't one of the stars star in our distant supernova galaxy Beetlejuice actually about to turn into a supernova soon? Within a couple million years, happening, happens in the very core. Like of the star, we're starting to detect. Signs the of, of a supernova about to happen to Beetlejuice. From, the core of the from star. what I've heard, and go just about like they're detecting light. it, and the, the light hasn't not. reached us so yet. When the neutrinos from the initial reaction and that's what's weirder happening. too, because when we see they pictures of like galaxies and the and, and stars in the distance, we're seeing them millions and millions of years younger than what they probably are now. But the light from that finally so reached never, us that's how weird time works when it comes to distance in the galaxy particle, in our universe so they're very hard to detect but that also means that when they're escaping from the center of the star even though there's an entire star's worth of material they will not be able to be stopped so they will continue out from the star and then if there's someone to detect it you would actually know oh this star is blowing up well shit i guess we're gonna die so fun fact there you go. Oh, that's Look so at cool. that. Mm, speed it up a little bit. Ooh. Oh, so cool. cool. Oh, so cool. So cool. Oh, so cool. 40 <laughs> times. Oh, so cool. 41. Okay, so I will leave it with this one. I, I, I love this game. I love space. I love everything about it. Space. I hope you guys enjoyed me geeking out about space and talking about things that I don't fully understand. But there's so much to learn about space. If you haven't seen it already, I would recommend watching Cosmos, uh, the new series with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson narrating it, and also the older city series with Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. 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 They're really interesting series. They explore a lot of topics. I watched about the space. universe. And the most recent show. series is actually very fun to watch. I've watched it twice through. It explores a lot of topics. The show I remember space, watching that really got me into space was really called The Universe so on the History Channel. If you want to know more, there's tons of more resources to learn about space and science and all of these cool things. I recommend always learning. Because as stupid as I am and as stupid as I seem, that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate intellectual pursuits. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. Thank you again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Nah. There it is, I guess. The intro. Well, it's, it's the Universe Sandbox music instead. So, wow, okay, so that was the video that birthed a song by uh, Shmo Yeho. Just how insane that someone in Shmo Yeho was like, we should just make a remix, songify this. Let's just songify this whole 
playthrough that he just did into a song. Like, genius. It was genius. You know, I love, you know, space myself. That's why I got myself this tattoo. It represents my love of space and the universe and how interesting it is. It's kind of crazy just to see, like, you know, how big our universe is compared, you know, to how big our planet is and how big our solar system is. It's, like, gigantic in size. And it's, like, infinite. And we there's, like, billions and billions of stars and galaxies out there. It's just, like, oh, it's just insane like what's out there and there's probably life outside in our universe somewhere we have not discovered it yet obviously but i feel like there is something out there we can't be the only like intelligent beings in this universe it's just that the conditions are just right with the our moon and our distance from our star which is the sun it just helps, you know, progress life on our planet to the point where humans became a reality. And I don't, and I think if the moon did not exist, I don't think us humans would have not stood a chance at all because the conditions would have been so bad. It would have been uh, like the Earth's tilt, axial tilt, which is 23 and a half degrees would be all over the place it would be tilting because of the gravity of the other planets and the sun it it would be insane it would just be ridiculous so it would not be fun it would just not be fun at all so uh anyways that's really it on this reaction i just wanted to showcase the fact that i got myself my second tattoo and it represents my love for space and the universe out there so I'm just letting it heal right now. Like, it's starting to, like, flake off a little bit. Like, you know, it's been a week now since I've gotten this. So I've been very, very, very careful. I want to be very cautious with this because the last time I ended up getting a staph infection from this. So I don't want that again. I don't want it to happen again. So I'm, like, putting Aquaphor on and spreading it and, you know, not itching it because it's starting to itch a bit. But, you know, I'm not, like, itching it at all. Like, it's flaking off, but it's when I'm rubbing on the Aquaphor or rubbing it to clean it. That's really it. It's not like I'm rubbing it on my own and just to relieve any itch. No, that would be terrible. So, that, like, that's what I'm not doing. So, I'm really happy for the with the result. And honestly, I want to, like, kind of, like, just a little small idea, like a little small little portion of the, uh, my arm would be like space themed, like have like an astronaut over here, chilling over here. I don't know, like something stupid, like, because I just want to represent my love of the universe, not just because oh, I want to be an astronaut. Like, I, it's just, it, it's supposed to represent my love for the universe and, and stuff like that. That's what I would love for this, you know, some portion of my body to be. I don't know what else I would put there, but I would have to figure that out myself. <laughs> but anyways, I think overall that's really it on this reaction. I just wanted to uh, react to that just because of what I recently got, which is this tattoo here. Honestly, I do plan on getting more in the future if everything goes fine with this one. I don't deal with any staph infections like the first time I got one. I don't know if I'm going to be reacting to any more of Mark's playthrough of Universe Sandbox. I do know Jacksepticeye has his own series. I may check that out as well, but we'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of Vacation Squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool hits of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and myself. I just react with the cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.